Food Everything. Alright guys, so today we're going to be working on the Wikipedia API search project from Free Code Camp's front, front end. We're going to be doing some HTML, some basic CSS, mainly um, using Bootstrap. We're also going to show how to hook up the Wikipedia API um, using jQuery and how to use that. And we're going to display a, create an image that when clicked will open up a random Wikipedia article like so. We are also going to create a um, input here, which will then display our search results. And like so, so let's type in hello world and submit. And then it's going to display it down here, like below. And uh, I might even clean this up to look a little more clean, but uh, I usually don't like doing too much CSS. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, so we're in free code camp. We're going to do two things. Uh, we're going to import everything we want first, which is our um, bootstrap. And then we're also going to import jQuery. Now, everyone's style is different with how they like to start. I personally um, like to do the easy sort of let's kind of get our page set up look. So um, for me, that just means let's start typing out some HTML. So um, we're going to create a div class and set it equal to container. And we're just going to go ahead and close that. And that's just a um, class that's basically going to bring our page in a little bit so that when we actually look, it's just so it doesn't go to the edges, doesn't look all weird. Uh, it's a bootstrap thing. So um, we're just going to create a div. We're also going to go ahead and create uh, an h1 here. Um, and it's just basically going to say uh, what the title of the project is, Wikipedia API search. And then below that, I like to put credit from where I got the idea. So we'll go ahead and create an H4. And um, we'll go ahead and say, uh, we can say, uh, we can either say, we'll do it like this, FCC front end development. Cool, so we have a little bit of our page so far. So what do we need to create next? The easiest thing would be to create an image that would then, that would uh, open up in the link. So that's pretty simple. So what do we need? We just need the first anchor tag that's going to link to a random article. Um, Free Code Camp provides this. I'm gonna close this out too. We'll zoom in a little bit. So Free Code Camp provides this. Um, we're not gonna actually have any words because we're gonna use an image. So um, I just got a random Wikipedia image off of the uh, the net. Let me go ahead and pull that up real quick. Let's see. All right. So in here, we're just gonna go ahead and create an image tag. So we're saying image src equals Cool. Now let's go ahead and look. So here's our image before we styled it and anything. So as of right now, it should work. So let's go ahead and test that and it's pulling up. So we don't actually want it to open to another page. We actually want, and this isn't like in the, the prompt or anything, but again, um, small styling as you go along isn't bad. So we'll, we're going to go ahead and set target equal to blank. And now when we click on it, it's going to open in a, a brand new page like so. Cool, let's head back. So the next thing that we want to do is probably set up our input class. So um, we have our we have our heading, we have our image to search. Now the next thing that I would do is probably create the search bar and the button. So uh, we'll be going back to these. I'm just really trying to get out the kind of a rough draft, if you will. So we'll go ahead and, and use input class or input, and we're going to set the class equal to form dash control. And this is a, um, a bootstrap class. So input class form control. And then uh, we're, we will need a ID to target this later on. So we're going to go ahead and set the ID here equal to search term. 
Um, that was what I used. Um, so basically the reason we're setting ID is so that when we're using jQuery, we can then get that value, concatenate it into the API string, and from there we'll be able to make the correct API call based off the user input. So let's go ahead there, we did that. Uh, we need a way to submit it. Let's check that it's working somewhat. Um, we need a way to submit it. Um, with that, we can just use a simple button. All right, so we have a button here and we're gonna, with this button, we're going to give it an ID as well. So we can go ahead and say search and we'll say type equal to button. And from here, we're just gonna give it a class. We want it to look a little bit nice. And we're just gonna say uh, btn, btn dash primary. So it's gonna inherit some stuff. It's gonna make it look a little pretty. And then we'll go ahead and say submit. And we will close the button. And we basically have the rough draft version of what we need to do. Oh, there's one more thing. So we're gonna need an output. So the way I did it was I just created a div. And actually this might be a better way is let's go ahead and create a UL. And when we put our UL in there, we will then, we'll give this an ID equal to, put it output. And then when we call it, we'll just output a bunch of uh, list items to it. So this is basically our, our rough draft, if you will, of the code that we're gonna need in HTML. We're gonna go back and clean it up a little bit and add some classes, I believe, but for and some divs, but this is mainly it. So in the next video, what we'll do is we'll actually start the jQuery and we'll start, we'll start it with um, just a simple click function and doing the Ajax call from there. See you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, make sure to check out my Twitch API videos, which will be coming out pretty soon, as well as my new series, Drunk Developers, where I ask questions on how did you get into the field, what was the favorite thing you ever did, what languages do you recommend learning for a beginner, all this sort of stuff while having drinks. So I hope you guys enjoy that and keep an eye out for it. See you next time.